sex, if it's rooted in lust, then it's a sin. If it's rooted in love, then it's, in, it's an offering unto the Lord. Many times young people have sex because it is lust driven. The reality is this. When a man is really into a woman, he doesn't think about sex. He thinks about spending time with her, let's go to the movies, let's just hang out. They are afraid to do anything physical because love is not based on lust. This is why when, in our time when we used to be young, people would write letters, you know, send roses with perfume, you would listen to a, 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 a mixtape somebody made for you with slow jams, you know. It was all in their heart. It was not lust driven at all. Now, Satan uses lust because lust destroys you. Now, people who have practiced lust in their youth when they get married, also that lust follows them. Because being married doesn't mean that you don't have lust if you are rooted in lust. You can have sex with your husband or with your wife and still be lasting mm. instead of loving. Mm. Because sex in love, love always seeks to satisfy others, not self. Mm. Lust always wants to satisfy self and it's never satisfied. Mm. It's never satisfied. Now the problem is this, and this is another thing where it is uh, a problem. Men have commitment issues because it's an illusion. One day you're here, another day you're sleeping with somebody else, another day you're sleeping with somebody else, another. What you're doing to yourself, number one, is you're destroying your conscious mind. Because now you are last, you are programmed to last. The reality is this. The act of sex ends the same way. <laughs> it ends the same way. That's why it doesn't matter if you meet somebody that is so beautiful and you get it done, then the next minute a guy doesn't want to see you. Why? Because his mind is messed up. Mm -hmm. He's lust driven and he cannot commit by reason of jumping from one thing to another, getting something that should come by commitment mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. Now the problem with the woman is also this. This is scientifically proven. Every man a woman has ever slept with, their DNA is in you. This is scientific. 100% scientific. Now, if somebody... Now, the reason why the DNA is in you, even years later, it's not going anywhere. Number one, if somebody leaves a part of them in you, it means they have also left their program in you. So there is something that will be downloaded inside of you that you will not even be aware of. That is why it takes a long time for people to actually be able to be in a committed relationship without insecurities, without all these things. Because God really has to remove some things from your subconscious that you don't even know. That is why we say, well, you know, if your family, they are singers, everybody's going to be a singer because it's in the DNA. That is the danger of it. Number two, it's a sin because it is not, God loves things that are in commitment. Being, having affection for somebody does not mean you're committed. Doesn't mean that, that's not commitment. And you don't want to learn, learn the hard way. Notice God's blessing is for those who are committed to Christ. Number four, sex is an act to worship, of worship unto God. It literally is. Now, the Bible says, uh, and I will support what the Bishop Candace said. She said, you know, a woman's body is a portal. Let me explain to you. When two people come together, they become one flesh. It's an act of agreement. If two or three come together, 
touching and agreeing, it shall be done unto them. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is, the moment you come together, your spirits cause a portal to open mm -hmm. wow. for life to come on earth. Mm -hmm. Even when you're not really intending to make a child, that's what is happening in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, if you engage in, with that situation, and it's not in the sanctity or, of marriage, what happens is demonic spirits enter you because you have opened yourself in the realm of the spirit. Wow. <clears throat> People who are married, when they do it, it makes their bond strong. Mm. Meaning the spirit of God comes and makes them their bond closer mm. and closer and closer mm. and closer and closer every time they engage. Now if you do it outside of that, what happens is spirits enter you, they will give you more lust, you will you'll be greedy, you'll be there, you'll be here. <coughs> so it destroys you. By the time you get to the time where you really want to be committed and be in something, you can't. Mm. Because you have been messed up. Because life is all about your perspective and, in your, of, and, and, and your mind. If your mind is not stable, nothing will be stable in your life. If your vision is not clear, nothing will be clear in you. And what the, the Bishop John said, he said, spilling blood. Mm. <laughs> that is why you find your first is always hard to forget. Mm. And he's saying the truth. Mm -hmm. There was a blood covenant. Even when there is no more blood, when that season has passed, there is always blood. Mm -hmm. It's just not visible. Mm -hmm. So it's a dangerous thing because you open yourself to things that are not good. That's why sometimes some people give birth and you're like, where did this child get this attitude? It's not me, it's not even in your side of the family. Mm -hmm. Whose blood also entered? Wow. Number three, I will, no, not even number three, I don't know what that is. A woman, a woman is the pure, let, let me be honest with you. God has two sides. I'm not saying he's a man and a woman, that's not what I'm saying. God has a masculine side and he has a feminine side. That's why God says, you're cheating on me, but then again I will restore you. You notice God is sensitive. It's like, God, why are you like this? Then he's a mighty warrior, but he's sensitive. He's a mighty warrior, but then he's sensitive. A woman literally represents the Holy Spirit. This is why when a man does, even in the secular world, a man can sleep around. It's not a big of a deal as a woman doing it. It's a, how could you do it? Is because you are such a pure thing. You are a representation of purity. That if you defile and destroy that image, it's just wrong. Even people who are not spiritual know that. Mm. It ought not to be like that. Mm. So when you keep yourself, you protect yourself and you protect your future. Mm. A lot of the people in these situations they are in later on in life is because of the acts they engaged in. So, sex is a great thing, but when is the problem? Not why, God is not saying no. God is giving you a time when it will be. Mm. There's never no to what God made, it's for you to enjoy. Uh, I heard a, a woman of God say something, she said, and this is for married people, she said this, she said, there is only one game that God created and gave to human beings. And that was sex for a husband and a wife. He said, play that game every single day, as much as you can. Soccer, man. Football, man. But this one is the only game that God gave a man and a woman to play. When you do that, if you notice, if you engage in that, arguments are less, fightings are less, you actually even notice that you're thinking alike for some reason. It's like it's just clicking. Because you're downloading each other's program beyond just speaking. Yeah. As Lolo said, give, 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 give. 